Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie up Brent's Mink Hair Caddis. Here's a fly I've been using for many years when I was guiding on the Bow River. It's produced very very well in the evenings for the cinnamon caddis and uh, it works very well and uh, even works in a little rougher water but I like it in uh, more of the real nice dry fly water when these uh, caddis are coming off the trees bushes in the evening. So to have these materials ready to tie the fly, I'm going to use some rusty brown 8 dot thread to tie with. I'm going to use a Tiamco standard dry fly, it's uh, number 14. The body, I'm going to use some cinnamon caddis antron dubbing. The um, wing, I'm going to use a guard hair from a mink pelt. And the hackle, we're going to use some dark ginger neck hackle. So let's get a hook in the vise and tie one of these nice little caddis flies up. This has been a good producer for a long time. It's an innocent looking little fly, but lots of them are in the... I can keep it nice and slender and fish like this one. Sometimes the materials, it just seems like Get the right materials on a fly too makes it a little better than the others, I don't know. But keep trying different things and when we find the right recipe you just stick with it. So we get our Antron wound there fairly fine, I like it fine. I, I do like this rotary vise, I can get a nice thin body. You can taper it if you want, I just keep it really thin. So let's see here, we're going to get a little excess off. I'm going to just cut that off. Pluck this off here if I can. Clean that thread off there a little bit. There we go. Tease it up there and you can clip it off. Sometimes you got to do what it takes. Okay, now we're going to come into the pelt here, the mink and I want the nice guard hairs in here for my wing. So I'm just going to clip close to the hide, get a generous portion off. And you can see, look at all the under fur on that mink. Now that is very, very good dry fly dubbing right there. We can use that or even blend it with other colors, whatever, but that is excellent. That will float like a top. Here in our stacker, get the tips nicely lined up. Only thing I don't like about tying with mink guard hair, it's very fine hair, but it's slippery, very slippery, and uh, hard to work with sometimes. So I tie it quite a ways back because I want to get a keep this head clean and uh, give them a little room for my tie-off position. Okay, and there's just a very small wing. Doesn't look like much. You can see it from the bottom. Pretty innocent looking little deal, isn't it? Okay, then we're going to go to our neck. I'm going to just pick out some hackle to size. I'm getting kind of picked over on this one. Those are getting a little too long. Got to go back down a little deeper. Uh, let me see. Um, how about you? That looks about right. Couple there. Not too bad. Now we're just gonna catch that in. We're gonna get quite a bit of hackle on the front of this little cinnamon caddis. About four turns or so of hackle. That should sit up there in my base that I did on my wing. Just gonna grab my whip finish. I left a little spot right at the front there to whip finish that off. I had a spot where my thread would fit right in. Make sure you don't put any hair up there. That is slippery. Everything will slide off that. That mink guard hair is so slippery. It's tough. It'll last a long time. There is a very simple little fly. If you're fishing Spring Creek situations or very flat water. Fish are getting very finicky. I go to this, and uh, these trout really like it. 
my little mink hair caddis. I've had that one a long, long time, and that's the first time I shared it with anyone, so I really wish you all the best for this one. And uh, hope to see you in the water, and thanks for watching. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you would like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to ontheflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.